This is MathGuy.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to talk about decimals, fractions, and percents. In this video, we're going to talk about in section one, what are decimal numbers? In section two, what are fractions? Section three, what are percents? And in section four, we're going to convert between all three. Let's get started. Section one, what are decimal numbers? Numbers that are decimal numbers indicate scale. Well, let's talk about distance, for instance. If we were to talk about one foot, we know the distance of one foot. Uh, we know the distance of 10 feet. It's actually 10 times as big as one foot, or 10 times as long as one foot. We know what 100 feet looks like. That's 100 times the length of one foot, and so on. We could even go in the other direction. We could say we have 0.1 feet. That means a tenth of a foot. So that's if you break up one foot into ten parts, you've got one part of it. We can talk about smaller distances still. We could talk about a hundredth of a foot. So this is, of course, if we break up a foot into a hundred pieces, we have a small, small piece of that, and so on. So basically the number, uh, you know, the numbers, depending on where they are in relationship to the decimal point, tell us size, and they give us a scope of magnitude. Okay, that's what decimal numbers are. So let's say we take the fraction four-fifths. And let's say it's associated with a real problem or a real situation, like four out of five patients uh, were happy with their doctors. So that would mean, yeah, that's a lot of patients out of five. That means if four out of five were happy with their doctor, one out of five people were not. So you can see that there is a definite comparison between values there. Let's take another fraction, like two-thirds. Let's say we knew that a certain batter was able to hit two out of three pitches. So let's say two out of every three pitches that were thrown at the batter, the batter was able to hit. It's definitely an interesting pattern uh, between two numbers. Let's say a student scored nine out of ten questions correctly on a test. Well, we definitely would say that the student was able to understand a lot of the test. If 9 out of 10 questions were answered correctly, this student only answered 1 out of those 10 questions incorrectly. So you can see that fractions are just a comparison between two values. Section 3, what are percents? Okay, the word percent is kind of interesting. Uh, you have the word per and cent. Well, if you think about cents, cents, well, there's 100 cents in one dollar. So there you're, you're talking about a fraction. So when someone says 20%, what really this means is 20 out of 100. So the percent uses a comparison between values you're given one value and the other number that we're comparing it against is a hundred. Let's say we were going to take five percent. Alright, well five percent just means five out of a hundred. So the double zeros on the percent kind of give you an idea that there's a double zero in the denominator. We have a 100 down there. Uh, let's say we take one last example. How about 18 percent? 18 percent it just means 18 out of every 100. A lot of times we use percents in sales. We say something is 25% off. That means, if it's 25% off, that means 25 out of every $100 is what you're going to pay. So if you pay 25 out of 100, you are not going to pay 75 out of 100. So you could see that this comparison, the number you're given with 100, forms a fraction. 
Okay, that's all there is to presents. Section 4, converting between the three. All right, let's say we start with a decimal number. And I'm going to convert this decimal number from a decimal number to a fraction and a percent. All right, well, if you could say the number, you could write it as a fraction. But you first have to know some things about placement. Like here, this is the ones position. This over here is the tenths position, because it's past the decimal point. This is the hundredths, and this is the thousandths position. All right, so when I were to say this word, this is 14, but the rightmost number is in the tenths, hundredths, thousandths position. So it is 14 thousandths. Now, of course, I could reduce this. I actually could divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. So I could write it as 7 five hundredths as a reduced fraction. So if I want to turn a fraction into a percent, you just move the decimal two places to the right. So this number would be 1.4%. Two places to the right, 1.4%. So all of these values say the same amount. 0 0.014, 1.4%, and 7 five hundredths. Okay, let's try another example. All right, let's say we had 0.6. Now, this is in the tenths position, so we would say that this is 6 tenths. 6 tenths. Now, of course, I could reduce this. I could divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. So I would say that this is 3 fifths. So 0.6 is equal to 3 fifths. All right, how do I change it to a percent? Well, I'm going to move the decimal two places to the right. So it's going to be 60 percent. Let's say we started with a fraction instead. So let's say we started with 3 fourths. Well, I would take 3 and I would divide it by 4. If I used a calculator, I would get 0.75. So now I've just use the calculator to take 3 divided by 4 and of course the calculator just gives me that answer right there 0.75 let's talk about how to change this to a percent so if I want to change to percent you move the decimal two places to the right so this would be 75 percent so 3 quarters is 0.75 is 75 percent well let's try one-fifth if we had this fraction, one-fifth, that really just means one divided by five. And if I did that with a calculator, I would get 0 0.2. 0 0.2. So now I have a fraction written as a decimal value. Now I move the two places to the right. I get 20%. So all of these are equivalent to each other. They're just in different forms. Well, let's say we start with a percentage value instead. So let's say we started with 40%. Now 40% can be written as a decimal. Right now picture the decimal value being right here. Now remember this means percent means per 100. So really I can change this to a decimal number by moving it two places to the right, or sorry to the left. Because really percent means you're dividing by 100 so I'm moving it two places to the left because I'm dividing by 100. So I would get 0.40. So 0.40 is the decimal value that is equal to 40%. All right, now remember, percent does mean per 100. So this means 40 per 100. Of course, that is now written as a fraction, except we could reduce this fraction. I could divide the top by 4. I could divide the bottom by 4. I could even divide the top again by 5. I could divide the bottom by 5. And I get 2 fifths. So 40% is 0.40 is equal to 2 fifths. 
So let's try 8%. So remember, percent means divided by 100. So I could say that's 8 divided by 100 because it's 8 per 100. Again, I could reduce this. I could divide the top by 2. I could divide the bottom by 2. I could divide the top and bottom again by 2. And I get 2 25ths. I could change the percent to a decimal number by moving the decimal. Right now the decimal is right here. If I move the decimal two places to the left, it's going to be 0 0.08 or 8 hundredths. So 0 0.08 is 8% is equal to 2 fifths. I'm sorry, 2 20 fifths. They all say the same thing. Go back to mathguide.com, check out our interactive quizzes, our instructional videos, and text-based lessons. Take care.